We are now going to learn how to run an aged debtors report. To do this, go into the customers window by clicking on the customers button in the bottom left hand corner. The customer process window will open. Go to the link on the left hand side which says customer list and click. We are now presented with a list of customers which are set up currently in Sage. As you can see, we currently have two set up. To run the report, we click on reports in the top right hand corner. However, you can select whichever customers individually you'd like the report to be ran for. If you click clear, the ones you've selected will be cleared. And running the report without selecting any customers will run the report for the entire debtors list with all debtors with an outstanding balance. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on reports now and run the report for these two customers. As you can see the customer reports window has been opened. There are a series of reports down here which can be used. We want the age debtors report which is the top one so we'll click on there and click expand. As you can see a list of debtors reports is available. We're going to click on the detailed one here, age debtors analysis detailed and come down to generate report. At this point we can select the drop down menu and send the report straight to the printer, to preview, to a file or straight to an email. We're going to click preview and click generate report. Now we have to enter the criteria for our report. As you can see the first drop down menu allows you to select which customers we want the report to be run for. Leaving it as it is we'll select all customers currently on there. Now the transaction date. The first date is a date far in the past on Sage so basically Sage is saying let's include everything that's on there currently. But then the second date is the to date we can run this report to a certain date and exclude by clicking on these buttons all of the transactions after that date. However, leaving the date as it is, i.e. today's date, and leaving these boxes unticked and clicking OK, we will run a report showing all items which are outstanding currently. So this is what we'll do. Click OK. As you can see, the report has been successfully generated. We have the two customers here and here, and we have a list of outstanding invoices for those customers and totals down here. Let's close this. So that's how we successfully ran an age debtors report.